So to get started, I have already added a small function called as field changed. And this field change entry point is part of client script. This field change will get triggered whenever you make a change in a particular field or whenever you select any new value in your particular field. And this has one parameter as an argument with a script context. And this has access to the current record. And also you can find the subdist ID using this and the field ID and also the line number currently which the field change is going to happen and the column number as well. I already added a alert function which will show me this field change function has been triggered and also I have added console which will get triggered on the browser console. So what I've done is I have already uploaded this particular file in my netshoot file cabinet in order to make sure only the field change gets triggered. I don't want any other entry points to get triggered. So what I've done is I have commented out the all other entry points. So I have just included field change. So now let's go back to Netshoot. What do you mean by field change if you ask me? Let's say there's a comments field here now. So if you enter any value and you click tab button and it goes to next field, right? So now the field is getting changed from this particular comments tab to email. So at this moment, the field change will get triggered. Sometimes if there is an existing value and you're not making any changes to that and if you click tab off, the field change will not get triggered. So if there is any small change, let's say F and I make it as A, tab off, the field change will get triggered. So to see this in a real time example, I have already created the script record for this particular client script and I have deployed it on the sales order. And if I click this particular script tab, I can see only the field change function has been checked. And if I go to deployments, sales order has been applied. So I have already opened the deployment also on the other side. Navigate to transaction, sales order and click enter sales order. I'm going to try to change some value. Right now, if you see, there's a field called as status field right now, which has a pending fulfillment in it. So if I change this value from pending fulfillment to pending approval, I can see my field change function is getting triggered and I'll click OK on that. If I select this field again and if I don't make any changes and I just click tab off, the field change will not get triggered. Now on the other hand, I have a memo field here. So this memo field does not contain any value. So if I just tab off without entering any value, our field change is not getting triggered. Now let's say I'm going to enter some value on this. I will click tab off. My field change is getting triggered now. So I'll just click OK and remove this value. And if I tab off, yes, it has been changed. The value has been changed when I click tab off. Now let's try to add one small condition where I want to make sure that my field change is getting triggered only on this particular memo field. I'm just going to add a small if condition. Let's say if, and I have the parameter I'm going to call this script context dot field ID is equal to, let's go to memo field. So this memo field will have an internal ID called memo. And I'll click enter and I'll cut paste this alert inside my if condition as of now so that this field change will get triggered only for whenever I make any change for this particular memo field not for other fields like status or it can be customer anything okay. so I will just upload this code directly from here click continue okay the upload has been successful navigate one more time to my sales order freshly transaction sales enter sales order now as per my code the field change should get triggered only for memo field not for other fields change some value or add some value on this memo field and tab off i can see the field change is getting triggered now this field change should not trigger on another field like say sales rep so i will select sales rep as even my field change is getting triggered now on this point so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clear my caches and cookies from click more tools and clear browsing data so let me clear my data caches and cookies has been cleared now now if i just go back to sales order let me reload this page from first it may ask me to log in sometimes so now i have opened the sales order one more time so let's try this memo field change gets triggered now if i go to sales rep and if i select some rep i don't see the field change is getting triggered now and now let's say again i will change the memo value to something else let's say memo test field change is getting triggered so even this field change can be also applied at sublist level let's say for example if you have this item whenever you change the item you want to make sure only the item field change should be triggered so you can add additional condition like script context or sublist id as something like this and i want to trigger that particular field whenever the item is getting selected which means the item 
so i'm going to make this as item as per this logical and operator this field change will get triggered only on my item sublist and only when i change my value of the item field in my sublist so if i change some value from quantity to trigger only for item it will get triggered so give it a try let me know how is the outcome